Hi everybody, hope you're well. We're back with Star Stable, so me and Digipack are going to continue our adventure in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Digipack is ready to go. The valley just feels like such a magical place. Digipack, I know you're getting cold feet, but that's not... This is not the time to argue. We have to go. Alright, we better get into the... This elevator. The scale of this place is just still it still abuses me actually. Oh, it's way down on us. We're gonna have to get into the other side, I think. Right, danger cat, come on over here because we need to get into this one instead. Well, at least we fixed this for the time being. I hope it doesn't break at any point. Otherwise it's gonna be a complete never pain to fix that I would imagine. Maybe we should just bring Comrade down, get him to fix it. Still I just can't get over how eerie this place is and how quiet at times it is. Hi Nick. Your glowing floating fridge. Okay. Oh, about the refrigerator. Nick like what even? <laughs> ah yeah, the fridge. Uh can't get anything past you, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, it's a bit odd. It's, it's okay to think so. I found it during one of my more peculiar excursions. Followed me around ever since. I have a, a really strong feeling that I need to look out for and protect it, but I can't put my finger on quite why. You know what? I'm going to say something you might think is a bit weird. I actually believe that it isn't just a French. It's something else, something hugely important in disguise. Sometimes I think it was even some kind of awareness of its own. Some kind of consciousness, like a living being. Have I gone mad? Oh well, I'm sure there'll be more opportunities to talk about it later. Because, you see, when I open it, I can take from it any, almost anything I want without even having said a single word. It's like I think of an object, open the fridge, and boom! It's there. I'm worried that I'm playing, I'm paying a price for it, and I don't quite realize it yet. A very high price. It really worries me, so I don't even... I don't ever open it unnecessarily. Really. Only if I'm really, really hungry. I suppose that kind of makes sense, because I wondered why... He had this fridge and I suppose the problem is if Danger Kick had that kind of fridge, Danger Kick would just keep asking for kick and probably cause the destruction of the world. But that's Danger Kick for you. Right, Nick. Awaiting the results. Did you not hear that the mailbox rustling out there? AAE have surely analyzed the test sentence we sent and have no doubt arrived at some form of epic conclusion. How exciting. Can you check the mail for me? Okay, well we'll do that now. Right, let's see what's in the mailbox. Hey, we got a letter, I think. A response from A, just as I thought. Now let's see what they've written. Hmm, well, no, really? Exciting. Ah, so it's like that. Hmm. Nick, would you stop talking in riddles? Hmm, oh, cool. I need to figure some of this out before I can properly disclose more details for you. The skeleton seems to be that of a... Leopleurodon. It wasn't a, as it wasn't the giant mosasaurus. It was Leopleurodon. I should know my dinosaurs. I'm disappointed in myself. But apparently, it's only two twenty thousand years old. That's nothing in paleontology terms. The dinosaur basically died out sixty five million years ago. I need to give this a little more thought. Maybe the penny will eventually drop. Hmm. Maybe it's actually the Loch Ness monster. Maybe that's what it actually is. Exploring Ice Peak Island. Hmm, okay. A beautiful new day, isn't it? The forest bites like a cobra and the cold mist penetrates through your clothing like an old aunt's wet kisses. Well, ready for a new expedition. Well, when you put it like that, Nick, me and Ginger Keck are ready. Good. I'd like to document and map the, that rock formation that seems to form some kind of island in the frozen Valdez uh, lakes, north eastern parts. I fixed up the equipments, so it will probably work out even better than yesterday. Okay, so we're going to document all up there. Looks like we have a fair little track ahead of us. Oh, I'm not even going to talk to her. She drove me mad the other day. <laughs> Maybe it's this way. I'm not actually sure where I'm supposed to be going. Um, well, it's at the lake, so we should go to the lake, shouldn't we really? Instead of randomly running in opposite direction. There's the name Pluridon. I feel so disappointed that I got it mixed up with them. Giant Mosasaur. Oh well. 
Close enough. Right. Where do oh I didn't realize this is like a heli but that we could go up. This looks interesting. Right. Let's see. Ice Peak Island. Oh, we need to use the camera. Okay. There's the camera. You photograph the landscape. I think I will probably need to get off you. Did you crack? Pay attention now. We're gonna have to do a lot more of this. Oh, there's our helicopter. That's looks like it's nearly buried in the snow now. You'd nearly think Danger Cack was like leg deep in snow at the minute. It looks like we can go further up this hill, so let's do that. I just think that skeleton is so awesome. It's like one of my favorite things here so far. Oh, what? Okay, that wasn't how I thought that place was supposed to be. Let's try that again. I was pretty sure that I saw a way up. Maybe I'm just not looking at this right. Maybe we need to go the other way and try and go up and around. Maybe that's what it is. It sort of looks like I can sort of ride up this way. I need to go slowly so don't fall off. Danger kick, danger kick, do not fall backwards. Do not fall backwards, I said. Of course we took a very danger, danger kick. Do not take your name literally, please. Not right now. This, we're on a very icy, steep hill. This is not a good idea. Right. Maybe it was this way and I just miss. Mm, no. No, it's a sheer... It's basically a sheer cliff. There's, I don't see a way up this. Maybe we need to go like right the way around. Maybe that's what we're doing wrong. Because it is essentially an island in the icy bit, so maybe we need to go further around. This looks quite steep here, and it doesn't look like anything I can climb up yet. And this sort of looks like a dead end. Um, no, wait, no. No, that's too steep. That's too steep. I'll not be able to get up that. Um, I must be able to get up here somehow. But all of this is far too steep, so maybe I need to go the other side, perhaps? I've just had an idea. I remember when I had to get collect sticks for the fire, and there was a bridge as well. Um, maybe I need to go on the bridge, and then go up and round to get where I need to go. So maybe we should head back towards Nick, and then try going that way. I think that might be the solution. Now I understand why people say it's really easy to get lost around here, because I actually don't have a clue where I am. I thought I was heading back towards Nick and I'm clearly not. Well, I'm still near the dinosaur. Ooh, that's very slippy. Oh, whoops, okay. Right, danger kick. Get out of the sheet of ice. We're not helping right now. Um, right, maybe right this way. Ah, I think that's too wide for us to jump. Right, the dinosaur, if we go back towards the dinosaur we're going the wrong way so maybe we need to go this way. Well we're starting to go uphill so maybe we'll, oh whoops, sorry danger kick that was my fault, I couldn't, I didn't say it. Um, maybe we can, if we keep going this way we'll be able to go over the bridge to meet. Oh which way should we go? That goes really high up and this looks like it maybe is a bit closer to the lake, so let's go this way. There's the bridge, I just hope it's the right bridge. I'm a bit concerned about walking over this bridge. <laughs> I don't like that noise. I really, really don't like that noise. Danger Kick, I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling terribly confident about this. Let's just take it slowly. Okay. Let's just walk carefully, just in case. Right. Seems to be okay. There's some sparkles down there, but I think I know how to get down there, because we were sort of... I think that's over by Isendale on our left. 
Alright, let's I think we'll I think it's okay. Okay. The bridge the bridge seems to be stable. Phew! Okay. That wasn't too bad. I think we're on the island now. I think we are. I'm not terribly sure. Oh whoa whoa whoa. This is just like an abyss. You can hardly see anything. Right, I saw sparkles over this way, so I'm gonna try going around the side. Because I feel like we were down there earlier. I'm really conscious of like I'm close to edges. There we go, there's some of the sparkles. There we are. I think this is where we were supposed to go. Yeah, we're up above the dinosaur. So we found the ones that are on the island. So we just need to get the ones that are below it, I think now. Okay, that's all that mapped and photographed. I think while we're up here, we'll check that there's no more that we need to collect up here. In case there's any that's a bit further up this island. It feels more like an ice mountain than an island. Oh, there they are. It's a good thing we come up here. Oh, wow. That's pretty spectacular looking. Oh! Oh, God! The dangers of, um... Parking your horse on an icy slope. Sorry, Danger Cat, that was my fault. Just gonna check there's nowhere else up here that we need to photograph or check. This is kind of cool. It's kind of pretty. I do what was around here. star. Awesome. Right, let's carefully jump down. There we go. I just can't seem to find where I need to go. I know where it is supposed to be, but I just can't find a pathway to it. I think it's near the woods here. There's this area, this like wooded, heavily wooded area. But I just simply don't know how to actually get to the part that seems to have all of the trees and then the sparkles. Unless I need to go a little bit further this way. I mean, this seems to be taking me off track, but it looks like it's maybe taking me back up again, so maybe I need to go up and around. There's another one of those. Um, places with a cave in the ice. Very much like the other one we saw. Whoa. Be careful. Okay, okay, okay. You don't want to go in there. I'm not going to make you go in. It's fine. I'm not going to force you to go. Right. We'll continue heading up this way. I'm thinking maybe this is the right way. Seems to be. I think we're on to a winner. Just need to find some sparkles now. Yeah, we're getting into the orange area, so I think we're on the right track. So many, like, dead trees lying around. Oh, there we go. Finally. I think there's more to find up here, because I've still got some orange left. So I think we need to go a bit higher up onto this mountain. I think it's a mountain. Ashen steep. Ooh, don't want to fall down there. Okay, well we've finished exploring these this eastern part. It looks like we can't go any further up this way, but I want to go up and see why that is. Oh, it's blocked with snow and ice. I see. Hmm, okay, well that means we'll probably get to explore it in the future at least. Just not now. We'll head back down the mountain to Nick and then report what we've found so far. I don't know if he's going to make us head out again or not. 
Those we'll see shortly. Somebody should really fix this bridge. It's not a very good bridge. I wonder what Nick will make of all these new discoveries. We didn't find any more dinosaur bones, which is a bit depressing, but you know, we'll see what he thinks. Right, did you kick him? Stand on him. Thank you. The Ashen Steep, the Ice Forest, it seems like there are a lot of interesting places in there. You seem to know a little about an area beyond the crater as well. Interesting. I'll have a little think and see if I can find any more information about these areas. If I come up with anything, I'll share everything I know with you, just so you know. Thank you, Nick. It looks like Nick has plenty more for us to do, but I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. I hope you've had a lovely day.